Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Great to see you. This week I'm talking about used lenses. I buy them all the time, in fact, most of the time. And I've only been burned, I think it's three times out of buying probably 30 lenses. So I'm gonna share some tips and tricks so you won't get burned. And this lens right here is one of the ones I got burned on, but actually I've never been burned because these little tips and tricks that I've used have always protected me and I haven't lost any money on buying used lenses. So that just for clarity's sake. All of the footage that you're looking at right here has been all shot by used lenses. I've probably bought 30 used lenses over the years and I've saved hundreds of dollars and got very good optics almost every time. Now there are lots of places where you can buy used lenses. I buy mine from eBay and I follow some camera stores that are reputable that sell used product and I have some just regular folks who specialize in used lenses. A lot of people get nervous about buying used lenses, but really, if you do it and follow some of these tips and tricks, you'll save hundreds or thousands of dollars instead of buying a new lens. Look, it's no secret that as soon as somebody buys a new lens from a store and walks out of that store, that lens has depreciated. And in some cases, it can depreciate a lot. So that's what we're trying to take advantage of, is get some gently used lenses that are awesome and save you money. This beauty right here, the Olympus 12 to 40 Pro lens is one of the ones that I bought used. And let's get into tip number one. I bought this lens for hundreds of dollars cheaper than it would sell new, but I bought it from a reputable seller who I'd bought from before. I knew communication was great. I knew that the stuff that he sold was only the top quality used lenses. And I'd done my research and I'd bought from him before, like I said, so I knew I was gonna get quality. So that's the first tip. Familiarize yourself with the sellers. Who are the good ones? Who are the not reputable ones? You can always tell from the reviews and how long they've been around and what kind of product they're selling. Obviously, if somebody's selling all watches and they have one lens in amongst all their products, it's probably not a camera lens expert. Here's another nice lens that I got used. It's a 10 millimeter Rokinon Cine lens with a Nikon mount and I paid about $220 for it on eBay. I got this one on an auction. So what have I learned? Well, here's another tip. If you're gonna bid on something and the expiration date of the auction is two weeks from now, don't bother inflating the price, you know, two weeks before the final bidding. Sort of follow along stealthily and see where those bids are going. This one I saw wasn't getting very many bids, so I came in right close to the deadline and scooped this one up with a first bid that was really low for 220 bucks. I mean, this is a $500 lens and I got it for like half price and it's in mint condition. This is a Hoya 80 to 200 millimeter zoom lens that I got for six bucks. But here's the lesson. If you go to those stores like Goodwill to look for lenses, which a lot of you might do, they actually have eBay stores, a lot of those Goodwill places, and they put some of the lenses up on there. So that's where you can get some really cheap deals on lenses at a Goodwill store on eBay. And I find that they're usually quite honest, giving you an opinion on the quality of the lens. I won't use this for client work, but for six bucks, I got a nice little gem to play around with. And if I don't like it, I could probably easily sell it for 10 bucks. Now here's a tip that I think will really save your butt. This is an 80 to 200 Nikkor lens that I use on my Nikon camera, but I also use it with an adapter sometimes on my GH5 and GH4. Here's a tip that might save you, is communicate with the seller. And I'll tell you what that means. The seller said it was in mint condition. There was no haze, no fungus, no scratches. Okay, fine. Do you believe that or do you do some communication? So I always do communication with sellers and I don't care what they say in the description. I always ask them, is there haze, fungus, scratches, yada, yada, yada on the lens elements? And I do that for a reason because they will come back to me and like this person did and said, oh no, it's in perfect condition. 
I've now got a record of actual communication with that seller, reassuring me that it's in mint condition. This one came back in horrible condition. It had fungus all over this lens. I mean, just look at how bad that fungus is. That gave me what I needed to go back to eBay to say this seller was not honest in selling their product. I was able to use the communication to support my case. eBay agreed with me, refunded all my money, and the guy obviously knew he was caught. He didn't even want the lens back. And I've got this lens with some fungus on it, which actually could still be used a, a bit. You know, I caught somebody. So that communication will save your butt. Always ask so you have evidence that you asked, they answered your question, that'll save you. There you have it guys, those are some of my top tips for buying used lenses on eBay. Go out there and see what deals you can score, or if you have scored a great deal, let me know in the comments down below, and let's share some stories of those awesome deals that we've got at auctions or whatever on eBay. Hey, if you, this video was helpful, and I hope it was, and it saves you some money, please like it, because that's how videos get out there, and other people see them, and your friends see them, and all that cool stuff. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.